episode of Dinger Up It Too, Goodbye Despair. Um, last time we just finished our investigation and we were about to start the last class trial. So I'm excited. I still don't really know what's going on, but I'm sure that we'll figure it out by the end. Um, but yeah, let's just, let's do it. Okay, we need to set our skills, but I don't have anything. I don't know what's going on, so I guess we're... We're ready to go then. Oh god. I hate it when it asks. Okay, yes. We're doing it. All right. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of no. the class trial. We've already done this so many times. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only I'll punish everyone before. Well, I don't, you know. Oh. Because I was asleep the whole time. What? <laughs> Even if you do grasp it, you're just gonna confuse the heck out of us, aren't you? But Nagito's not alone. I don't really get it either. Get what? You're fine. <laughs> Your head's empty anyway. <laughs> empty head? Huh. What's wrong with that? Listen up! The emptier Whoa. your head, the more dreams you can stuff inside it, you know? Um, I guess that's one way to anyway, look at it. Anyway, <laughs> we shouldn't proceed with the trial if those two can't participate in the arguments. What? Since he's the first witness, why don't we ask Hajime to explain the incident and the sequence of events? I gotcha, then, me. Let's start with when we split into the hospital team and motel team because of the despair disease. The hospital team consisted of Nagito, Ibuki, and Akane, who were infected, and Mikan, Fuyuhiko, and me. Yep. The other five on the motel team were myself, Gundam, Kazuichi, Chiaki, and Hyoko. Spending the night at the hospital was prohibited, so Hajime and I had to sleep at our cottages. I woke up at my cottage on the day the incident happened. Mikan came by to wake me up and told me that Nagito had recovered from his symptoms. We immediately headed over to the hospital, and after we confirmed his recovery... Oh yeah, when she was sleeping in bed with I made you? Mikan rest in the on-call room, since she hadn't slept all night, while I waited in the hospital lobby. And then, I saw the incoming signal light on the surveillance camera blinking before our scheduled time. When I pressed the button to turn on the monitor, what appeared on screen was a video of someone wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head. Amazing! That's such a hard pounding story! And then what did you do, Hajime? Stop. I, I tried to stop, stop them, of course. Simp. I rushed out of the hospital and ran to where the video was being recorded, the music venue. But it was too late. No, it's okay. By the time I arrived, the person wearing the hemp bag on their head was already hanging from the ceiling. I thought I should tell the others right away, so I headed to the motel. Why the motel? Because it was close to the music venue, and unlike the hospital, there were more able-bodied people there. At least, that's what I thought, but the only person who came with me was Chiaki. But I remember feeling a little relieved because not long after, we met up with Mikan and Fuyuhiko. We were also looking for Ibuki since she disappeared from our sight. After I rested for a bit, I started counting everyone at the hospital. And then I noticed Ibuki was gone. So I, I sprinted out of the hospital. Coincidentally, I ran into Fuyuhiko. So I pled with him in various ways to see if he could help me out. Various ways? Um. Don't say it like that and confuse people. <laughs> After I heard from those two that Ibuki disappeared, I had a feeling she was the person wearing the hemp bag. So I immediately led them to the music venue. <laughs> Hajime's already, like, got no one next to him anymore. But the door wouldn't open. <laughs> Since just... we had no other option, nope. the four of us broke down the door. Yeah. And when that happened, we didn't just find Ibuki's body. We also found Hiyoko's. And not just that, her body was taped to a pillar. Yep. That's when we heard the body discovery announcement. Not once, but twice in a row. And so we decided to lower the hanged body, didn't we? When we removed the hemp bag, just as we feared, it was Ibuki. So that's how the case played out. Thank you. I understood it very easily. <laughs> well, it's clear what the problem with this case is. When Hajime left the music venue, who would? How do I know anything Hajime just said is true? Excuse you, Nikita? 
Huh? Sorry. I'm only being impartial right now. You... <laughs> the story I just heard is clearly suspicious. What do you mean? Hajime, if you're the only one who saw the hanging video and the first one to discover Ibuki's body... Shoot, that's a good point. Then you could be lying as much as you want right now, right? But... Lie? Why would I lie? Yeah, why would I lie? Obviously. So you could make us ignore what might be an inconvenient truth for you. Do you doubt me? If you're not lying, <laughs> His eyes I would are like watering. you to prove it. <laughs> Come on, try to prove it to me. Hey! Prove you're not the killer. Stop it. <laughs> it's just a set of said. Nikita's the kind of guy who just confuse us and make matters worse. Dang it, I should have explained it to Nikita. I'm in trouble now thanks to that. Oh god, oh god, I'm not ready. Surveillance camera unit, movies, invitation ticket, and surveillance monitor video. I need to remember the buttons real quick. Hold on. Before you start talking, let's see. Okay, right, so testimony is clearly suspicious. If Hajime's testimony is a lie, then the fact that Ibuki hung herself... That would also be a lie. I don't think I can deny that possibility. No! After all, Hajime is the only witness. Why would Hajime lie? Well, obviously, because he's the killer. Hey! Did Hajime kill both of them? The fact that the bodies were imitating the movie means it probably hey, is Hajime's hey, fault. Hey! 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 Right there! Right there! You little... Hajime's testimony. If Hajime's and the fact that Ibuki... That would also... I don't think I can... After all... Why would Hajime lie? Well, obviously, because he's the killer. Did Hajime kill both of them? The fact that the bodies were... Yeah! No, that's wrong! Screw you, Nito. I'm You're the killer. To be... I mean, there's no way I'd be able to imitate that movie. It had to be someone who saw the movie, but, like, who saw the movie. Of course you're not. I already knew that. Screw you, Nikito. Uh -huh. I knew it. I knew he he obviously knew that. Before the incident, Hajime had never watched that movie. Exactly. His invitation ticket is proof. And he told me to hold on to it, and that, and now he's trying to confuse Each everyone. Person only God, Nikito, what one is? Ticket, and they're marked with the What are you playing right, at? Monokuma? Yes. No mistakes there. Which means there's no way Hajime. Who never saw the movie? Maybe it was an accident. Commit murders that imitated it. Maybe it was just by chance. Or, Wait, I'm not supposed to. Did anyone myself? tell him what happens in the movie? Of course, no one did, right? Hold on a sec. You're the one who brought this up in the first place. <laughs> yeah. Nagito, what are you doing? Well, well what do you since think? Since we're opening with your witness testimony, I thought we should solidify the foundation. God, you are. It also provides a good warm up. Stop, you're creeping me out. Oh, Norma, this isn't a game, you know. <laughs> Don't it get is. mad. Seriously. I just think warming up is really important. Especially since this isn't a game. Okay. <laughs> what a waste of time. Well, I knew it would turn out like this anyway. Anything Nagito says, just ignore. Now then, since we know Hajime's testimony is reliable, let us move on to the arguments. So this means Ibuki definitely climbed the stepladder all by herself, right? Yeah, I'm positive. Then that seals it! Ibuki committed suicide! If Ibuki committed suicide, then who killed Hiyoko? Hmm, a murder coincidentally occurring in the same place as a suicide... ain't possible, huh? Like I said before, it's pretty clear what the problem with this case mm -hmm. is. The killer murdered Hiyoko while Hajime was gone, so all we gotta do is establish who could have possibly done that. Then let's ask mm -hmm. Hajime. How long would you say you were away from the music venue? Like 10 minutes. I couldn't have been gone for more than 10 minutes. So they killed Hiyoko and taped her up within 10 minutes? Yeah. There's no way that's possible. That's why the killer stalled for time by making the music venue a closed room. Hmm? What do you mean a closed room? The killer blocked the venue yeah, door from the weird. inside to try and keep us Sticky from entering stuff, right away. That, that she However, ate. That door is the only entrance to the music venue, right? If they blocked the door from the inside, the killer would not have been able to leave either. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Which means, when we broke down the venue door, 
The killer was still inside. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> that's what they were. If that's the Indeed. case, the only suspicious people are those who don't have an alibi for that time. Mm -hmm. And that's you two. Sonia and Kazuichi. Fess up! <laughs> Me too? What the hell? Why's it gotta be us? The others all have alibis. Yep. Chiaki, Mikan, Hajime, and I all broke down the venue door together. Gundam met up with Hajime at the motel right before that. And if Akane and Nagito were laid up in the hospital, the only person that leaves is one of you. Ooh, nice There's job. another person who doesn't have an alibi. Oh, yeah. You know, Nekomaru. Me too! <laughs> hey, why are you talking like, huh? You're kidding, right? You're not up to something weird, are you? <laughs> Please stop making bad jokes. Anyway, if the killer was hiding inside the venue, oh. we should obviously doubt the people who don't have alibis. I agree, what yes. What a freaking way of backing us into a wall. Is this his professional skill? <laughs> the killer was inside the music venue. Three people obviously think th thinks so, but is that really it? Okay, here we go. Make your argument. What do I got? Step ladder, surveillance ladder, and video, and semi transparent glove. The killer was still inside the music venue. By locking the door from the inside, they tried to keep us from getting in. It oh, seems maybe we they were trying to this. stall for time. How did they lock the door? That door should not have had a lock. He's gonna say like a drumstick. The lock you know? was on the floor in front of the door. Are you talking about the broken drumstick? You can use that as a bolt to lock the door. By doing that, the killer who was hiding it's inside. It's gotta be the semi transparent Waited well. till we gathered together and suddenly appeared. So they look like the hitch. I have seen this in serial crime dramas. Okay, so I gotta shoot. The killer was still inside the music. The lock thing. By locking the door from the inside. No! They tried to keep I us hate you, you stupid freaking noise. The lock was on. By locking the door from the inside. Yeah, take care. No, out. that's wrong. Wait a sec. There's also a possibility that the door was locked from the outside. From the outside. Oh shoot! How? There was a semi-transparent glob stuck to the venue door. Maybe that's what they used. Semi-transparent glob? Like, rubber, maybe? It wasn't rubber at all. That semi-transparent glob was probably... Rubber? <laughs> Glue? Gummy or gum? Ooh? I see! Why would it be that a gum? semi-transparent glob must have been glue. Glue? Yeah. I think so too. Like gorilla glue? It had a firm gel-like chewiness. Okay. And I could Can smell workshop chemicals the moment I put it in my mouth. Based on all that, I'm certain it was glue. I didn't know it. glue was edible. <gasps> oh no, I got it. Stop being dumb. I believe it is not something one typically eats. Usually children. That glue was only applied to the areas where both doors touched. By pouring it in the gaps of the closed door, they must have sealed the venue door from the outside. And thanks to that, a glob of glue was left where the door was stuck. Yep, it fits perfectly. But if you just stick them together with glue, you'd be able to break down the door easily. Unless it's you know? gorilla glue. That doesn't really matter. The killer only did that to make us think the door was locked from the inside. Huh. What'd you say? First of all, didn't that drumstick we found seem really obvious? Almost unnaturally so. I don't get it. It was so obvious that it makes more sense to think the killer placed it as a diversion. Are you saying the drumstick was a trap the killer set on purpose? Then I... I totally fell for that fucking trap. <laughs> Apologize to Miss Sonia and me. However, you're not allowed hey. to slice open your stomach this time. Oh. In a quarrel, both oh. sides are to blame. That's why it's better to just have no sides at all. Thanks, Monami. Appreciate it. <laughs> so, during the 10 minutes Hajime left the venue, the killer murdered Hiyoko and created a closed space? 
And they also taped her up after killing her, right? Mm -hmm. Even quick work has limits. Oh, what unimaginable speed for a slow poke like me. Mm -hmm. If they couldn't have done it while Hajime was away from the venue, they must have done it earlier than that. Mm -hmm. earlier? But when Hajime got to the venue, only Ibuki's body was there, right? Well, they could have been hiding her body somewhere. And when you went back with everyone else, Hyoko's body was there too, right? But it's possible that the body was just revealed at that time, when Hyoko was actually killed earlier. Yeah. Just revealed? Of course, the body wasn't revealed on its own. The killer did that too. Here, I have proof. Huh? Hmm, that scrap of paper. Is that what we found in the baton lighting at the music venue? That's right, but just what is this scrap anyway? I can't tell. Please tell me. What was the thick scrap of paper that was stuck to the baton lighting in the music venue? It should have been part of something originally. I should have seen what that was at the music venue. Then I should be able to figure out what it is. Oh. Oh, Hangman's Gambit! Um, I don't know this word. Okay, so it's what? What was, what was the ripped piece of paper that was stuck to the baton lighting? What? 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 Wait, what is this one? What the heck? Oh, I forgot I can't let them touch. Hey, sorry. Where? I can't think of anything with a where. A? 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 Wa? Wallpaper? Wallpaper? Wallpaper. I got it. E? R? No! R! <laughs> Okay. I was thinking like curtain, not wallpaper, but I guess. Crap. Isn't it part of the wallpaper in the storage room? In the music venue storage room, there should have been black wallpaper that's the same color as that scrap. Oh yeah, except I'm dumb. There was also so. a tear along the edge of the wallpaper. Wasn't oh yeah, he even mentioned that. I guess I really am. You overlaid super the dumb. scrap that was caught on. See, it fits perfectly. Thanks, Nagito. <laughs> I see. So the scrap that was caught on the baton lighting was originally part of the wallpaper. And what does what's that wrong mean? with that? Does it have something to do with Hyoko's body disappearing? A mere nobody like me isn't important enough to answer that. But if you guys were exceptional enough to identify that scrap of paper, you can figure this out easily. <sighs> Nagito! A scrap of paper stuck to the baton lighting was part of that wallpaper I found in the storage room. Is it connected to the sudden appearance of Hyoko's body? Huh? Thing, did the killer use that wallpaper to make Yoko appear next to the pillar? How? <laughs> what? If I trace it back from there, the answer should become clear. It's not clear at all. Let's give this a try. <sighs> what now? Logic dive. No! No, 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 no! I forgot. No! No! Stop! Stop! Jump is left mouse. Break is right. Accelerate is control. I never played games like these. Oh jeez! Question one: Why did Why did Hioka's body body suddenly appear at crime? It was hidden. It was brought there. It was hidden. Come on, be right, be right, be right, be right. Yeah, let's go. Woo! Question two, why did the killer, what did the killer use to hide her body? The curtain or the wallpaper? The curtain or the wallpaper? 
I don't know. The wallpaper? Oh no. Oh no. Okay, okay. It was right. It was right. It was right. God. This is so bad. Woo! Double woo! <laughs> <laughs> Question three: How did the killer hide her body with the wallpaper? They formed a wall. They covered. They covered it. They covered it. I saw it. I saw it. Got him. Yeah. Woo! We did it! Yay! Nice. It's all coming together. I got it. Yoko's body was hidden before we found it. But yeah. it would have taken quite a long time to tape up a hidden body. No, because she was already, was taped, already up. taped up. In the yeah! Killer, along Maybe with the I'm pillar not using so the wallpaper. What? They hid the pillar? Yeah. What? By wrapping the wallpaper around the pillar, the killer was able to create a slightly larger pillar. So when I first ah. discovered Ibuki's body, Kyoko's body was already there. Yay! However, because it was concealed within a slightly larger pillar, I didn't realize that at the time. Well, that's understandable. I mean, it makes sense that you'd notice Ibuki's body yes. right away. Yes, yes, thank you. So they used the baton you. lighting on the ceiling to hang the wallpaper? I guess so. The baton lighting forms a perfect circle around the pillar. So using it to hang the wallpaper totally fits. Then, the reason the wallpaper was covered in so many stickers was to make it look like that pillar. That's how they hid Hyoko's body, and then peeled off the wallpaper as soon as I left the music venue. Someone is like sweating right now that we're finding out <laughs> all the their secrets. Made a mistake. They accidentally ripped off a piece of the wallpaper. They're really and sweating. Of that, a scrap was left on the baton lighting. Indeed. The killer must have been in a hurry. Their plan took too long. Hajime could have walked in oh, on no. But going to the trouble of hiding the body and the pillar is very bold and risky. So it must have been someone bold the and risky. The crime itself would be much easier to pull off since they don't have much to do while Hajime's gone. They just have to peel off that wallpaper and stash it in the storage room. It's not that big of a deal. Then when was Hyoko actually killed? We Good point. And on that note, it's about time we shed some light on those imitation murders. Okay. Why I why are you leading the class um, trial? Stop it. You mentioned imitation murder more than once. But what is that? Are you really that dumb one? Are you kidding me? <laughs> you haven't seen my masterpiece? The Wizard of Monomy 2.5D? I wouldn't call it. Hey! Don't put my likeness in your movies without my permission. Yeah. You're pretty noisy for someone who eats mothballs. Mo moss or moth? I don't eat mothballs. I just enjoy looking at them. I knew it. There are so many similarities. It must have been intentional. Ibuki's death by hanging matches the scarecrow's death from the movie. Not just that, but Hyoko getting taped up after her death matches the lion's death. I suppose. It's as if both crimes were replicas of scenes from the movie, although the mutilated Tin Man was omitted. I would have liked to see but that. But why did the killer go to all this trouble in the first place? Based on what we know, the reason the killer chose these imitations isn't that difficult to figure out. The reason the killer imitated the two victims in that movie, they probably wanted us to think everything was happening the same way it did in the movie. To let their accomplice escape, because they like movies, to mix up the killing order, or to hide the weapon. What? Is it... Uh, the first one? I don't know. Oh, jeez. Um... Or or it could it could be this one. Uh, I don't want to mess it up. I see. Okay, there we go. God. I'm gonna the roll. The reason the killer God, imitated I'm two scared. of the murders from the movie <laughs> was so he'd mix up the killing order. Yeah. Then, 
Hiyoko was actually killed before Ibuki? Yes. A valid line what of What a reasoning. smart person. Hey, who went and saw the movie? Yeah, it's valid. Did everyone see the it? The condition of Ibuki's body suggests that as well. What do you mean? <laughs> if you're going to cry and beg like that, then I guess I'll hear about the condition of Ibuki's body. I'm not even crying. I'll let you sob as much as you <laughs> want later. Just hurry up and tell me before I change my mind. What a jerk! <laughs> oh, I see. You want me to explain it to you, right? Because you don't understand what I'm saying. Right? An even bigger jerk? Impossible! Hey! Look, Ibuki died because she hanged herself, right? That means when she was still alive, her feet were touching the floor. What's wrong with that? But... It seems Ibuki was still standing when Hiyoko was killed. That would mean Hiyoko was killed before Ibuki. Yeah? <laughs> How light. Your words are so light, as light as the sylph's feather. <laughs> your opponent is out of your league. It is too absurd to try to perplex me so inadequately. Man, I'm he's confused. being annoying again. First and foremost, yeah, you friend. claim Ibuki's feet were touching the floor when Hiyoko was killed. How Maybe can Ibuki a low-class creature with no psychic abilities like you know something like that? Because she was doing something that's only possible if her feet were on the floor. It seems what? you suffer from a pathetic oh, delusion. Oh, the <laughs> You're one to talk. Hey. Anyway, if this continues, we're just gonna talk in circles. I think it's supposed to be clarify Yugugi's status when Hiyoko was killed. So she was alive when Hiyoko was killed? Yeah? Blood on the soul, step ladder, and candle. Okay. When Hiyoko died, Ibuki's feet were on the floor. I, I am telling you to that. present your evidence. Did you see her walking? If her feet were on the floor... Was there any sign she stepped on something? Uh, I agree! I agree with that! Yes! Consent? Wait, did you say consent? Just as Sonya said, Ibuki stepped on something. Blood! And something <laughs> was blood. There were that is not Ibuki's blood, oh, right? She suffered no external injuries. Then it's Hiyoko's blood! Hiyoko's only wound was a fatal slice on her neck, and she died almost instantly. If Ibuki stepped on her blood... It means Ibuki was still standing when Hiyoko was mortally wounded. Yeah. It so, means Ibuki was still alive at the exact moment Hiyoko was and killed. And she was also there. Don't the underestimate oh, the my power god! Of the evil eye. Hey! I thought we were friends, dude! <laughs> Is that it? A shepherd no, dressed no, in his I don't Sunday's want to fight you. finest still reeks of lamb, Please. Hajime Hinata. Please, I don't want to fight you. Does that mean you have a rebuttal? Does that mean you have a rebuttal? Hmm. That's a good line. <laughs> but, Thank are you. you sure you're sure? If I show you how serious I am, this world might be destroyed, you I know. suck at this, dude. I literally suck at this. I don't want to do this. Try to remember the crimes. There was no blood on the floor. Shoot that! I yes! Cut through I'm those words. Reason. So annoying. That's not it. The reason there was no blood on the floor is because the killer wiped it away afterward. Yeah. Don't say such foolish things. You don't have proof of that at all. <laughs> yes, I do. Indeed. You look closely. There's a streak on the floor where blood was wiped away. When the killer tried to hide Hyoko's body. They probably cleaned the blood at the same time, but Ibuki must have already stepped in it, and the killer probably didn't even realize it. The reason they wiped off the blood on the floor was so we'd mix up the order of the murders, right? Oh, even know. if they're able to hide Hiyoko's body, it'd be bad if her blood was left out in the open. Plus, Ibuki's body was left out in the open, and it wasn't bleeding from any open wounds at all. There's still blood on the step ladder. Yoko's body was probably wrapped in duct tape to stop her bleeding. Actually, oh. the bleeding will stop once the heart stops beating. So I don't think they had to go that far. Aside from Mikon, none of us were aware of that fact. 
So the killer probably did not know it either. Maybe the heater was running inside the music venue so it would screw with Mikan's autopsy? Yeah. That's right! I didn't know the time of death because of the heater! If the time of death wasn't mentioned in the Monokuma file just to keep concrete evidence from us... Yep. Since we have all this evidence, there's no one else who wants to object. Then it's decided. Yoko was killed before Ibuki. Yes. It appears that it is wiser to retreat for now. <laughs> Fine then. But regardless of good or evil, there's no deceit in upholding one's conviction. Can't you just shut up and back off? Now then, let us resume our debate. Ah, wait a sec. There's something I want to run by Monokuma first. Oh, great. Uh -huh. Again? Didn't something like this happen last time, too? Hey, if the victim actually committed suicide, what are we supposed to do? Huh? Suicide. The same as always! You have to vote for who the killer is! Whether they be alive Think or not? Think about it! A suicide means you've killed the most important existence of all! Yourself! Unfortunately, that means there's no blacken to punish, but... I guess in a pinch, I can always punish Monami. Why me? Great, so it's not um, one of us. Or... Nagito, what do you mean? If the victim actually committed suicide? What, what well, if Ibuki? I mean, I understand Hyoko's death, but I'm wondering if Ibuki was really murdered. For example, it's possible Ibuki killed Hyoko yeah, and then committed so suicide so due to a guilty conscience. That's totally impossible. Then she never would have killed her to begin with. Maybe she, she was afflicted by the despair disease, remember? Oh, yeah. That means anything can happen. But if Ibuki's the killer, she wouldn't have been able to falsify the sequence of the murders, right? After Hajime saw the hanged body, the sudden appearance of Hyoko's oh, yeah. body so soon means after she means didn't kill the killer had to be alive at that time. Okay. Then she was alive. <gasps> what? When Hajime first discovered Ibuki, she was just pretending to be dead. But she was hanging. If she waited until Hajime left, that's when she could have made her move and mess with the crime scene. How do you even do that? She, she hanged herself, remember? There's no fucking way she could have faked that. And if she was going to fake her death, I think she wouldn't have chosen hanging. Her body would have been defenseless in that state. If anyone touched her, that alone would have ruined her plan. Hmm, I see. So that means there's no doubt that someone killed those two. I'm glad. Oh. Now I'm free to search for the killer. Oh my god. You're hopeless. What the heck? Ah, there's still one more issue on my mind. No! If Ibuki didn't commit suicide, then just what was that video Hajime saw? It wasn't Ibuki! According to that video you saw, Ibuki was by herself when she climbed the stepladder, right? Yeah. Then does that mean someone forced her to do it? F forced? Perhaps they used hypnotism or something? Does any of us actually know how to hypnotize? I don't know anything about that. Don't say it all proud. <laughs> uh, um, putting that aside. It seems obvious that the killer did something. So, maybe we should figure out who was able to do whatever that was. So, an alibi. The our plan is to destroy the weakest alibi. Since Hajime has seen the video, it is clear what time the crime took place. Uh, but just to be sure, that surveillance camera doesn't have a record function, right? It's a cheap-ass surveillance camera, you know? There's no way it'd have some kind of sweet recording feature. Yeah. Then, the video Hajime saw was actually live. What time did Hajime see that video? I saw it uh, at the hospital, right yeah. before Monokuma's morning announcement. And I saw the body at the music venue a little after Monokuma's announcement. Hmm. So Ibuki hanged herself right before Monokuma's announcement. And since we established that Hyoko was killed before Ibuki, that means the time that the murders occurred was before and during the announcement. Then we just have to find the person who doesn't have an alibi during that time? Now then, I shall issue my decree. Let Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi commence. 
destroy the weakest ally from this. We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. Oh, I think sorry. everyone at the motel was doing that. So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have an alibi. What about you guys? I <laughs> how it does that. I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. That's not an alibi. Aside from those afflicted by the disease, if nobody has an alibi, then Mikan does. Or Mi uh, Operation Destroy the weakest alibi has failed. Mikan and um and um that guy have an alibi. I forget his name. Fuyuhiko. Right? Mikan's account said she had an alibi. We can exclude the sick people like me and. And what about the right before the? I was totally sleeping in my motel. I think everyone at the motel. Is so everyone who stayed at the motel does. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be. My up. That's not an alibi. Aside from those afflicted by the disease, if nobody has an alibi, then. There you no, go. that's wrong. That was easy. We break. Oh, not all of us are missing an alibi. In fact, Mikan and I both have alibis. You, you two have alibis? Up until I saw that hanging video. Mikan and I were actually together for a while. Um. We even woke up to yeah, maybe we should talk about specifics. Hey, what kind of situation is that? Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> I accidentally fell asleep on top of Hajime. Stop. Too much info. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like that. She just came to tell me Nagato's condition had improved. Hmm. <laughs> and we went to the hospital together afterward. So we were together until right before the announcement. I get it. You guys have alibis. If that's the case, the killer must be someone else. So it's not else. me, obviously, and it's not me, Khan. It's better and if we think about it like that. I doubt it's the Hiko. The no, killer decided to falsify the murder sequence to hide the actual time of the crime anyway. So it's inevitable that an alibi for both before and during the morning announcement would be very important. Hmm. It feels like Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has backed us into a corner instead. But committing an imitation murder, is that really all it was? I doubt it. Huh? Faking the time the crime occurred by falsifying the murder sequence, hiding their alibi in the process. Was that the only reason the killer made both bodies imitate the movie? Are you saying there was another reason? I feel really bad for confusing you guys so much, but that's how I feel. Okay. I think the killer had a completely different reason for falsifying the murder sequence. The killer had a different reason. And if that's the case, are we still in the killer's trap? Inside a trap set by one of us. If so, then... Whose? And what kind of trap is it? Oh. Big time? Suspended! Big time! Yay! Hiya! Woo! Why, hello there, mother me. The moss ball is surely tasty today. Stop it! So character is he someone who works off of moss balls? And here's some chance time. Ha wa wa? What's that? Now then, Monami's appeal time starts now. Huh? Appeal time? Your kind-hearted big brother is gonna give you the chance to reclaim your honor. Good luck. Show the jerks who treat you like a red-headed stepchild his boss. That's... that's... 99% your fault! While you were whining, your time's already running out, so please make your appeal simple. About three... Th 30,000 words or so. That's too long! It'll just be a boring appeal! Come on, if your appeal is successful, there might be a merchandise opportunity heading your way. Okay. 
I'm Usami, magical miracle girl Usami. I'm an itty bitty girl who's sweet like milk. Geez, when I thought that a certain robot's little sister was supposed to be the best. What a disappointment! I thought right. Um, who are you talking about? I have no clue whatsoever. Once again, oh. I've been put in such an unreasonable situation. Okay. Seriously, he's like the king of unreasonableness. Why did it turn out like this? That's tough. We were supposed to have a fun, friendly school trip. Maybe but it turned out better. all bloody instead. No! This definitely off. cannot be allowed. That's why. I want you to remember this. Work together. Don't kill. Everyone, do your very best. Don't lose to yourself. And don't forget to save frequently. Ah, spooky. <laughs> okay, we're back. The reason the killer didn't imitation murder is a reason other than falsifying the murder sequence. Does something like that even exist? Huh. It suddenly got quiet in here. Dun, dun, dun. Did I confuse you? Uh, you if do that so, a lot. I wish I could die from self-loathing. Okay, Man, this again. God. If that's the case, it would have been just dandy if they had gone ahead and killed me too. If that happened, the imitation would have been perfect. Oh my god. So why didn't they do that? I... Uh... Oh, you're so... Well, uh. it's against the rules to kill three people in the first place. Yeah. That rule is too harsh. I couldn't get killed because of that. Seriously, just shut up already. Shut up forever. <laughs> but I'm thinking about it again, then. He's totally right. It feels incomplete. Yeah. Because they didn't kill three people like the movie did? That's only because of Monokuma's rule. It's not just that. Come on. Try to remember the content of the movie. Is the person who dies gonna get chopped up? Just like the movie? What? About the lion that got killed second. That's the one Hiyoko's body was imitating, right? Hmm. Even though we're calling it an imitation, yeah. the lion I was, was actually say, killed by arrows, right? But Hiyoko's body was suspended by common household duct tape. Maybe they just used a common substitute yeah. because it was too difficult to imitate the arrows. Well, that's probably it, but that attitude is what makes this feel incomplete. If falsifying the murder sequence was the killer's plan from the very beginning, they should have taken steps to properly imitate it. But if we never realized it was a half-assed imitation, their entire plan would have been completely useless. I'm what are you trying to say? Are you saying the imitation wasn't planned? Uh. I'm saying... Yoko's murder wasn't. Oh. What? Nani? Yoko's murder wasn't planned? Um, I understand that imitation wasn't enough. Maybe it was an accident. Aren't you making a bunch of assumptions? Maybe Ibuki accidentally killed her. It's not just the poor imitation. And killed herself. There are also other strange details. Strange details? Like what? Like... For example, why did Hiyoko go to the music venue? Why did Hiyoko go to the music venue? So, you're saying the truth oh, behind Hiyoko's murder Sonia. is hidden? I have no freaking clue what you're trying to say! However, this is getting quite interesting. My four dark devas of <laughs> destruction are getting riled up. Devas. Why Hiyoko went to the music room venue? It's the key... It's... If that's the key to all of this... I need to find that out, no matter the cost. What do I got in the chamber? Blood on the soles, no cell room key, even the new curtain, AC temperature. No cell room key? I thought it was gonna be like Sony's account. Why did Hyoko go that. to the music venue? Give me that. There's no way we can know that! No cell room key? Maybe the killer summoned her! No, the motel room key. If that's not it, 
Maybe she got abducted by the killer. No, she. No, maybe. In Sonya's account, she went of her own free will. She went of her own free will. What? I agree. What the with heck? That. Oh my god! It's just as Sonya said. She went to the music venue of her own free will. What the heck? She said exactly what I said. That freaked me out right there. Oh my god. Holy crap. So, exactly as I assumed. Are me and Sonya on the same person? If no one called for her, then why did she go? Yoko locked herself in her room because she was being overly cautious of the despair disease, you know? I don't think a person like that would leave their room just because someone called for them. There's no way she got abducted? Kyoko locked the room she was staying in before she went out. If she was forcibly taken from her room, there's no way she would have had time to lock it. The killer could have locked her door, right? She had the key. Just to hide the fact Hiyoko got abducted. Then they couldn't have hidden her room key that deep in her kimono. They would have put it somewhere more obvious. Otherwise, there's no point in messing with the crime scene if nobody finds the key. At the time, you were the one who actually took out the key, right? Then something like that. I won't lose. Hey! Are you saying my gut was wrong? Are you saying that I'm wrong? This will be my first and last highlight of the day. Why won't you just let me shine already? Because you're wrong. No, th that's not the issue. <laughs> shut up! Enough with your fancy talk. I'll shut you up right now. Um, hello? I'll shut you up.